YouTube. Today we're gonna talk about how to make a nuke feeder that is both cheap and easy to make. No angle cuts, no complicated assembly, um, and we can just crank it out them as fast as we could. Say hi. And my son, he's a big helper. All right, so without further ado, we're gonna get into the detail. So <clears throat> this is the, the finished item. Uh, the feeder and it is made out of 3 8 ply uh, the the box is designed based on the coyote uh, design that has a nice two handles you can hold on with uh, and the this uh, the feeder assembly inside that you can easily remove with a couple of screws here right so this helps you clean it up put your pan inside in the field so the you assemble the box as is um, oh, and uh, we are going to cut a little dado after the box is assembled and dried about three quarter of an inch away from the wall and right in the center uh, I think this open is about two inches or so but uh, don't quote me on that but that's all and the the, the feeder ladder is made out of two part this uh, part a tunnel that split, sits flush against the wall of the nuke and then this L part which is wrapped around with the hardware cloth and I have a lateral support here that gives you nice tight seal at this joint uh, and some strength in the L assembly and this hardware cloth lip kind of comes out uh, about three eighths of an inch or half inch out oh, less than that sorry quarter of an inch and the idea is to use that to seal against this frame rest of the nuke so the the beast can't get out so it's easy nice tight joint here and a flush seal here so with that let me go into the details how we uh, the dimensions uh, I modified the nuke dimensions uh, somewhat so we can get about eight nuke boxes from one sheet of 4 by 8 plywood um, so we start assembling the box by starting with this side uh, panel stapling this two long side on top of that glue and staple after the whole rectangle is assembled you, we put the bottom board on again staple and glue and then in the end we put these two handle handles on each end uh, staple and glue that next we come on to this tunnel assembly uh, it's a three and a half by four and three eight uh, made out of three quarter of wood or plywood or whatever scrap you have lying around you assemble that glue and staple and then you start with this lateral support and put these two sticks on four uh, five eight long and uh, you, you want to staple and glue those and then finally you put these two vertical sticks the vertical sticks I use cedar board uh, to make them last a little longer and after the whole alice assemble you you staple the hardware cloth all around make making sure you have enough a uh, lip straight lip available on this side and then finally you glue and staple those two pieces together and then drill a couple of holes here and that's your final assembly so that's it I'm gonna try to go as close as I can so you can see all the dimensions uh, very clearly I'm gonna try to be as steady as I can alright so I hope you get all the uh, uh, dimensions I hope that somebody uh, finds this useful and if you like it give it a thumbs up subscribe the channel and thanks for watching all right, so last time I tried, the, the, the screen capture didn't quite work, so it was second try. Let's see, this time you can see the whole screen and all the dimensions. I hope this works.